Hey, this is uh, Video Game Repairs, and uh, yeah, we're going to uh, fix the pin set today. <sighs> okay, we might as well just get down to work on it. Um, I took the top off, but that's a pretty basic fastening, unfastening. I did have a few strip threads, that's why I used a bigger screwdriver to just give it a gentle touch. Not too much, but just enough to get it going. I don't recommend that. Um, the best way is a little tape on the end of a small screwdriver and turn it. But when you're in that deep of a well, you know how they go in deep on the original systems, not the toasters. Maybe they do on the toasters, but I've never seen. I've seen a toaster up close once, and it was in a pawn shop. But okay, so back to business. Um. Okay. And yeah, there's a lot of screws that surround the outer shell. Um, that was the downside of the system. It like the how the mounts are, where they could have put like maybe three or four. They put like ten or fifteen. I guess it was more like securing the, that back then. And if you look on the bottom of each system, it says, uh, cool, I just got a message from a friend. And, um, it says you can call collect to, well, I'm here in Canada, and, um, you can call collect to Mattel that distributes the systems. I could show you the original box for this one. Uh, I got this system from uh, Dale Sheets. Um, he's an awesome guy. Actually, the other pins that, out of it, I went and I fixed it. Um, it lasted a good three, four months. Um, people love playing these systems. That's what they're made for. Um, but if you can get the emulators, yeah. Because it, it is an expensive hobby now. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting a loose Nintendo and just pack this one away. Is it, it's, you know, I might as well show for Dale. Um, I did get the control deck uh, manual. This is the US version. Uh, I actually like the US version, it's very compact. Um, the Canadian version is big, it's magazine styled, covered, glossy. And the same as a zapper, but that was the only thing's missing. This is a real sharp machine, um, good quality. Um, I don't unfold that poster much, the odd time I do. So that's what they look like. Um, I remember when I was a child and I lived on a farm. My dad, and my parents, we didn't have the like. We, my dad, put his money into the farm equipment, and he bought us Erdo farm toys and you know there wasn't too many Nintendo commercials back then but when we started finding out about Super Mario 3 and Double Dragon 2 or her neighbors and <laughs> one day my dad and it was an interesting day um, Remembrance Day was in the evening he went and he picked up the, ma the machine it was Nintendo Entertainment System it was privately for sale he worked at Trent University he saw the ad and, and um a student had it up for sale, so yeah, and we got a great selection, including Mike Tyson's. And uh, yeah, my brother has one stashed away, and he says, Oh, yeah, I still got it. And he's like, Oh, you gotta get that out, but he doesn't even have his TV hooked up. But yeah, he likes the radio. Um, this one's got the RCA's, um, the it does have AV. Um, I use my own AV cables. Um, yeah, everybody likes their own tradition to style. Um, yeah, the power cables, controllers are separate. They're put away in bags. Um, in my famous junk drawer. So I'll just... They're all bagged, though. Everything. If you ever want to do something, here's during this quarantine. If you had a Dollarama or Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, wherever in the U.S. you are, that has dollar stuff, Go there, you can get them for like two bucks, four bucks, and you're not overspending. 
And um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm just. Okay. Just had to respond back to my friend. And, um, yeah, just a worse up buddy of mine. And, uh, yeah. So, oh, let's get this dang. See, I found it funny that the customer service had call collect on it. And gosh, uh, toll free came out. Oh, collect. I think that goes to. Oh, yeah, and they can uh, either accept or not accept. Um, the hardest I find when you're putting these systems back together is these harnesses. Be careful. Because if you catch it underneath these boards in a little piece, you'll think, oh my gosh, my system quit on me. Oh no, everything's going wrong. And then you have no control over your controller, but you're getting power. But it can get worse. It could catch fire. Because the board and the steel will eventually heat up and they'll burn right through the insulation. You don't want that. Especially if you're in an apartment like I myself or anywhere. Let's, let's just be honest. Safety first. Okay, this type of method of getting the pins to work right. It's a little more unconventional, um, but it works. Some people might think it's unconventional, but I don't. And you're gonna need lots of Dollarama stuff, or dollar store stuff. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, this one, that came out nice. That's the only downfall of the brass screws. You can turn them tender and they will still act up on you. You have to be really careful. They they are uh, they are very, very soft to the touch. I was in my twenties I, I could turn them pretty the right way. I think it's certain grips of screwdrivers. Um yeah, I, this one came off Amazon, the pin set. I always advise if you're buying a pin set off Amazon, be careful. If you can keep the original pin in it, I'm going to show you how. Um, original pins are better, but um, I didn't know this trick, and I wish I did when I got the system. And, um, yeah, it's um, I got three months out of the pin set, and it, I just was a little nervous to do it myself, but then when I realized how amazing it truly is, it's like, how convenient. Um, it's like, wow, this is so handy. Why, why should I go back? Um, if you're ever trying to identify the year on a system to see if it's an original 85, there's two ways I just showed you. That one's in like from I'd say 86, 87 up, 87 up. I'm gonna go. Um, I see it's an 89. Um, but there's one way. It's the best way. You gotta go right underneath this system, flash a light on it, like your uh, cell phone light. It'll say 1986 Nintendo. It'll say 1989 Nintendo. If it says 1985 Nintendo, like some people, I think this game grading, personally, I don't like it to a point. Not in the original Nintendo games. I love playing them, personally. I There's just something about it, you know, when you grow up and you're a kid. And <laughs> you, you plug in and play, and you, you play that classic game. It's a feeling of nostalgia. Like, I don't have children yet, but, you know... 
if I ever have some uh, nephews over or my friends' kids come over, I'm definitely going to have this freaking system of playing DuckTales and showing them how to play it. Oh, they'll show me how to play it. <laughs> That's usually what the Nintendo does. It's an amazing system. It's, um, I, I love it. It's just... It's hard not to smile when you're working on them. Um, I think that's the way you gotta approach it. Um, as we're approaching the 10 minutes, I'm going to make a second video. And I'll have this all taken off. But um, I think these are your two hardest screws. So I, I'm gonna stick with you here. Maybe we'll make it 15 minutes. Um, oh, so if you live in this area, Please support uh, the self shop. Uh, my good friend Tony, he taught me how to uh, fix my pins, as I call it, recycling the pin, making it healthy again. And um, the self shop is an awesome place to go. Um, that one does a remarkable job. I think I might just take that one. Yeah, I got it. Because I don't want to rip the threads. And uh, Iceman Video Games. Uh, and they can, they'll help you out. Um, you can go on their link and you can buy games online. And uh, Chumley's, same thing. And uh, the owner of Chumley's will deliver right to your door. Oh, I didn't know this is magnetic. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And thanks to Mom's Basement. Um, yeah, they're really good in there. And the nice thing is um, they take a lot of trade. Um, they got a lot of different things. You'd be amazed. They also have a comic shop. It's open on certain days. Um... Greg and Aaron are just wonderful people and um, really good folk. Um, I got that box set from Greg and Aaron. Still got it to this day. I love it. Uh, mall car kits galore. You name it. The, it's a real nice hobby shop. It really makes you feel happy at heart when you walk into that shop. And it's, uh, wow. It's a... Uh, it's so nice to see it. Um, yeah. And, um, I actually got one of my, actually I'd say I got my very best mall car kit there. My Toyota Supra Fast and Furious one. So, yeah. I'm just gonna try, I'll try to move them, but. not panic here. So I'll just give you an idea. The screw removal is, this easy, is the easy part. I'll, I'll show you the hardest parts when we get to it. Um, I'm not going to try to make this 20 minutes long or nothing. Unlike my last video. Yeah, this one, I was playing Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 3 uh, Manhattan Project. And, uh, oh, sorry, my camera's went angling. There we go. And, uh, oh, okay. That's what that flashlight's for. <laughs> okay. Didn't know my camera spun around. Okay, so it's like one last screw because it, well, two. Yeah, I'll see what we can do here. There we go. Um, yeah, um, I know Dale is having a big sale on stuff, uh, video games. Uh, also, Luke Robbins, uh, Mark Millions. If you're in the Oshawa area, Trevor Doan, uh, 
uh, he's up in Knoxbridge and uh, Oshawa area, Caitlin Joy. Um, there is a Chumley's in Oshawa, I think, and there's one in Belleville. Um, uh, Drew Payne, if he has time, you gotta remember, he is working non-stop. And, uh, you know, my hat's off to Drew, like, um, uh, you know, keep up the hard work. I know it's stressful, but hey, we, I, I have nothing but respect for anybody. And, um... I actually met Drew years ago because my father's a farmer. He went to the TSC in Peterborough, and I knew right off the bat I'd be a great guy if I could meet him online. And it was just by luck. He was in the video games, I was, and guitars. And you know, he's just a really down home good guy. And uh, that's what I gotta say with them. Luke Robbins, same thing. Uh, Tony, Dale. We got a great group. I, I can't say enough about you. Uh, I know I'm, I sound like the guy at, at, at a wedding, you know, <laughs> after a few cold ones. <laughs> but um, no, it is true. You know, we all got to be appreciated for who we are. And, uh, and you know, if you want to post, feel free. It has to be video game related. That's awesome. You can put up your favorite video game console, your favorite game, whatever. And, um, I think it's, oh, jeez. I should put that screw back in, because it doesn't belong to be taken out. Oh, wait. The lower half has to be taken out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, I'm going to show you here. Um, before I switch over to a new video, this is the way you want your pin set screws. You want 443 and a quarter right here. So if you lose the screws, that's the size you need. Just go down to Home Depot. You can snag some. Um, and then your brass screw goes out there. I don't know the measurement on that, but I think go to a cell phone shop and they can hook you up, um, or any cell shop within your area. They have all those small screws. Um, I know the cell phone shop helped me out one time. I had a cruise in the USA. Love that game. Racing game. And, um, I lost, I bought it on Amazon and it was authentic, but it came from a bad seller and the screws were, were actually hacked to pieces in, on the, in the middle. I went to authenticate it and then I realized a whole bunch of red lights. So I was going up and down the street, trying to get everything back together. And, um, yeah, so always be careful. This is why you buy local, like, buy it from your local video game stores. Um, you know what you're getting, um, and you don't have to wait too long for it. Because, <sighs> like, they test it meticulously. I know my friend does, Drew, they all do. And it, it works, and I don't even worry about opening or anything. I might clean them, but that's it. But I know some stores clean them. Um, every store is different and, um, every seller is different. Um, prices are different, but, um, the quality of the product remains the same. And, you know, it's, um, it's always quality. And with that, I'm going to do another video where we're going to remove the pin set. And this is a very basic measure. It's not too hard, but this all has to come off and it takes a while.